everyone and welcome to AW Tech Tips. My name is Chrissy Spurlock and today we're going to talk to you about EDIDS, Extended Display Identification Data, through the Ascender 48 4K PL. Before we get started, let's review what an EDID does. An EDID contains information about your display. This includes manufacturer's name, product ID, input type, support timings, display size, and luminance characteristics. A custom EDID is a powerful tool that you can use to create a non-standard resolution to drive your widescreen display array, as well as other display configurations. Let's take a two projector blend whose final output resolution is 3600 by 1080. What if you wanted to output that dual link resolution from your PC to drive that screen natively? That's the power of custom EDIDs. For use in the Ascender, you can adjust or create your own edits if needed. I would suggest starting from an existing EDID file and adjust from there. Analog Way has created a very useful EDID editor called AW EDID Editor. You can download for free from our website. For today's example, I would like to create an EDID for my widescreen blend. First, I'm going to open my application and I'm going to open an existing EDID file that I saved from my Ascender's default EDID library slot 2, which is ORX, EDID, DVI, INPUT. I will show you where to find this a little bit later. Inside the AW EDID editor tool, we have lots of settings. EDID version, vendor product identification, basic display parameters, support features, color characteristics, established timings, and standard timings identification. Then we have three additional tabs. Detailed data, where you can edit things like preferred timing. Then there is CEA extension and Hexa Viewer. My first step is to click the Detailed Data tab and adjust my preferred timing block. So I'm going to click on the wizard and adjust my width to 3600 and keep my height at 1200. Also going to keep my rate at 5997. Use the CVT timing calculator to create all the timing parameters. Now I can save this EDID by clicking the save icon. Let's save it with a different name. I will label it ORX EDID DVI Widescreen Test. Now we can upload it into our EDID library and assign it to our input. As soon as it loads, I am going to drag and drop the EDID to my input. Now inside the WebRCS, click Setup tab, Control, EDID. And here is the EDID manager. This page is composed of three parts, the output EDIDs, the EDID library, and the input EDIDs. The output EDID section contains the EDIDs read from output devices such as video projectors or monitors, and the library enables them to be saved. The input EDID section contains EDIDs stored from the inputs. These EDIDs can be refreshed one by one or all together. Output EDIDs can be saved into the EDID library thanks to this simple drag and drop navigation. The 10 first EDIDs are default EDIDs. They cannot be modified. You can see that indicated here by this lock icon. The 22 others can be either uploaded from a computer or saved from output EDIDs. Details of each EDID can be seen by clicking on the magnifying glass. Now I'm going to upload my new EDID file by clicking the upload icon on slot 15. Now all I need to do is simply drag my new EDID to the correct connector type in input 4, in this case, display port. After this step, it is recommended to hot plug your source so the new EDID file can be read. There you have it guys, thanks for watching, we'll catch you here next time on AW Tech Tips.